Hey guys, it's Lala. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a Dollar Tree haul. Um, it's not super big, but it's a good, it's got some good stuff I want to show you. So before we get started, if you're new, welcome, stay subscribed, hang out with us. If you're returning, welcome back. And I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. And I'm going to try not to edit very much. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So the first thing I'm going to start with is this bag here. I think I have some Easter stuff in here. Uh, it's this new sign. I think it's so freaking cute. I didn't need another sign, but it says, welcome to Cottontail Farms. And it's got the cute truck with the bunnies. And I love that the hanging thing here has like the wooden beads on it. So this is super, super cute. It's going to look very cute. I'm going to try to hang it on the wreath of my front door. Mm, I don't know. I'm going to try. Um, but the back is just a plain like particle wood. So I grabbed that. And then also for Easter, I think these are new. I don't think I've ever seen these before. It's the pillowcase and they had blue and pink and that looks like that's the design. Let me open it up to show you, but they had blue and pink. I felt like, let me get the blue. It's a pretty good size and it's like a burlap material. That's what it looks like. So I'm going to take um, another pillow that I have and try to make sure, see if it fits in here. And then um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see it there. So make sure you're following me there. Um, or it may be in like my Easter decorate with me vlog. So either way, I'll share it with you guys. Uh, anything else Easter in here? Oh, I do have these two Easter items. These are stakes for the front yard. Look at it. It's a little gnome bunny. So it's just like the stake that goes in there. So I got that one and then I got this one here. I got, they're gonna look so cute out front with the other little things I have. So very cute. This is not Easter, but I really wanted it. I love it. It's gorgeous. Rainbows. You guys know I love unicorns. Rainbows included. And this is just super, super cute. Now it is a Greenbrier product. So it's not like a name brand thing, but it's just like a little wood block. Same particle board thing on the back. Um, and that's what it looks like. I saw these and I want to say they've had these before, but I don't think I picked them up. So I went ahead and grabbed them. They're by the Dippin' Dots brand and it's birthday cake popcorn. So we got that one there. And then we also got the cotton candy. I love cotton candy flavored things normally. So we'll give it a try, see how we like it. Oh, let me tell you guys how big they are. They're three and a half ounce bags each. Three and a half ounce bags. I saw some new Kiss nails. They were like black and white marbled with these gold glitter accent nails. They are the Kiss Fantasy Nails. You do get 24 amazing gel look nails. No glue, but you have that. That's my dog, Billy, behind me, if you don't know. They have these Glade car, fresh, car air fresheners, and I got the clean linen scent, and you get one, two, three, four of them. Four of them. I think it's a pretty good deal. All right, this seemed interesting, so that's why I got it. I don't know if it's good yet, and I don't want to drink it now because it's room temperature. I want to give it a shot when it's cold, but it's called Tremino, and it's protein-infused water, and they had quite a few flavors. Uh, I think, like, I don't know, three or four, but I got the strawberry lemonade. I felt like this was the one that I would probably like the most, so it's got 28 calories per bottle, seven grams of protein. It says, don't just hydrate, rejuvenate with Trimino or Trimino. I don't know how to say it, but protein. Uh, it So it contains seven grams of whey protein, essential amino acids, and 100% RDA of B3, B5, B6, and B12. So uh, check out your stores if you're interested. It is a 16 ounce bottle. You guys remember in my last Dollar Tree haul, I got the Rice Krispie Treat um, Easter Bunny and the Fruity Pebbles one, but I needed a third bunny for my third niece and I thought this was pretty cool. And it's also smaller, which I can appreciate because she's four and it's a s'mores bunny. And look at that. So it's s'mores, that's what it looks like. It's really cute. Holding like the marshmallow on the stick. He's cute. It's um, a s'mores bunny, milk chocolate with mini marshmallows and graham bits mixed in. So that actually sounds really good. And she's four, so you know, she doesn't care. If you guys have ever watched my grocery hauls and you've seen me buy tortilla chips, I always buy the Santitas brand. It's affordable. You get, they're good. I love them. They're cheaper than Tostitos and we love them. Um, But I saw that Dollar Tree had the Santitas salsa. Now this is the hot salsa. 
This is all my store had that day, but I have seen some other people haul the mild one, but I did get the hot. And honestly, if they would have had both, I would have gotten both. I do like a hot salsa. So yeah, picked it up. It's again, it's a name brand salsa. It is good until it says March 29th of 2023. That's the sell by date on it. Um, I'll eat it before then. I love some chips and salsa. And I'm looking for ounces. Okay, 15 and a half ounces. Okay, I have two dogs. If you don't know that and you're new, I have Axel. He's a, um, he's my bigger dog who's laying over here. And I have my small Shih Tzu. So I got them each two new toys. So <laughs> Billy already has a little leopard like this and he loves it. So I went ahead and grabbed this little panda bear. And then for Axel, I got this, um, I got this, I guess it's like a beaver. I don't know. Axel will destroy this in 0.2 seconds, but they both squeak. So, and they both have crinkly tails. So I just went ahead and grabbed each of them one, just even though Axel is going to destroy his, I wanted him to be able, <laughs> I wish you guys could see the dogs. <laughs> Billy is right here. Come here, Billy. Watch. Billy, come here. Here. Like, he is right here. And then Axel's right here. So, they love toys. My boys love... Okay. Sorry if the camera shook. Billy, he was trying not to try fought over. You can have them afterwards. Okay, so, they're still... Now they know there's toys, so they're waiting. Um, I got this LED color light. And I got this because we have motion lights in our backyard. But this side of our house the motion light, there's one spot and it's really dark. It just doesn't light it up. And that is where Billy loves to go at night and I can't see him. So um, I ordered him a, a collar that I'm waiting for, but I got this little tag and it lights up and you can push it and you can see, and it, you can do, it has different modes. So I thought that was just cool. And you know, if you need one, maybe you jog at night or you walk your dogs at night or something like that. This is good to have. Um, I picked this up for Greg. He said he needed conditioner and this is the softy, the softy brand right here. It's the silk and shea conditioner. It's moisturizing, softening for naturally curly and texturized hair. So this is what I got for him. And it smells, oh, it smells sublime two food items I want to show you. First is this Betty Crocker skillet potatoes. It says roasted garlic and herb. It's 4.2 ounces ready in 20 minutes. So this looks really good. All you need on the back is three tablespoons of vegetable oil and one and a half cups of water. This would make a great quick easy side for a meal. And the expiration date is July 25th of 2023. So plenty of shelf life. And then also this was already open because I got the munchies the other night and I wanted to try it, but it is a full size box of the chocolate peanut butter Chex Mix. Now, I don't know if I've ever really eaten Chex Mix cereal before, honestly. And ever since I had COVID a couple years ago, peanut butter has tasted off to me. I haven't enjoyed it. So I didn't know if I was gonna like it, but this was delicious. The expiration date is August 4th of 2023. And again, as you can see, I have already opened it and I enjoyed a bowl of it and it was great. It's a full size box. So it's 13.6 ounces and it was delicious. And on the back, it gives you some recipes for some other things. So I saw this cereal at like three or four of my stores. So make sure you check out your stores because it looks like it's getting around. Last but not least, this book sold for $39.99 and I got it for $1.25. I would never pay $39.99 for this, but it's the... The name of the book is The Art of a Tim Burton Film, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. And it's this big like coffee table book. That's what it looks like. Sorry for any glare. And it says it's the art from the movie. So just kind of do a little bit of a flip through. And this would make a great coffee table book or if someone is a huge Tim Burton fan, that's what it is. It says, A Most Peculiar Companion, A Haunting Tale of Love, Family, Time Travel, and Peculiar Superpowers, um, blah, blah, blah. 
So this book, it says, offers a behind the scenes look at the making of the film produced under the guidance of Tim Burton and in collaboration with the production team. This official companion to the film includes an introduction by Tim Burton himself and a foreword by Ransom Riggs, plus stunning film stills, on-set photography, concept drawings, costume designs, peculiar cast portraits, and exclusive interviews with the cast and crew. Again, normally $40, $1. twenty-five. So if you're not checking out your book section, this would make a great gift, especially if you have someone who loves Tim Burton movies um, or just different or movies in general. They're a movie buff. This could be great. And that, my friends, is my Dollar Tree haul. So not super big, but it was some really cool stuff that I wanted to share with you. Make sure you don't forget that if you haven't subscribed, that you do that, that you give this video a thumbs up. It really does help my channel and I would really, really appreciate it. Um, also, make sure you comment down below and let me know what item I got that's your favorite this week. And that is it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.